The UN's peace envoy to Syria arrived in Damascus this Monday during talks with officials, including President Bashar al-Assad. Staffan de Mistura is expected to bring up the regime's use of barrel bombs. His visit is due to last three days, and it comes soon after Turkey let refugees fleeing the fighting in Tal Abyad cross the border. Islamic State group fighters occupying the border town are coming under attack from Kurdish fighters and US-led airstrikes. Solange Mougin reports. Exhausted, dehydrated and no longer able to walk. After days spent under scorching temperatures, these Syrians are finally able to cross the border into Turkey. Blocked on the Syrian side since Ankara gave the order last Wednesday to close the crossing, these Syrians were stuck here. In an attempt to push back the wave of refugees, Turkish forces even used water cannons to disperse the crowds and keep people from climbing over the barbed wire fences. These men, women and children were fleeing nearby fighting between Islamic State group jihadists that control much of the region and Kurdish fighters. Backed by the U.S.-led airstrikes, the Kurdish militia managed to close in on the town of Tal Abiyad, a strategic point of entry for fighters, weapons and supplies for the Islamic State group. The town is the link between Turkey and the jihadist regional stronghold Raqqa. Taking back Tal Abiyad would be a major boon in the fight against the Islamists. But at the same time, Turkey is wary of the gains made by the Kurdish militia. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said the Kurds could become a future threat for Turkey, claiming the fighters were turning their guns on local citizens, something the Kurds have strongly denied as they continue to chip away at the Islamic State Group's territory.